Guys, I picked this up off of Amazon. Now, what caught my eye about this particular vehicle, it has two motors. They are brushed, but it has two motors in this little thing. And something else, because I've already got it out of the box and all that wonderful stuff, there is zero dampening on this. Zero, and I'm not even sure if the shocks can hold oil. But anyway, I'm gonna show this to you on the table, show you guys the setup that it's got in it, and we're taking it outside. Let's get to that table. And here we go. Now, it's a decently sized little truck, you know I mean? It's got some decently set to it. Now, uh, the tires, they are not very soft, pliable, grippy. However, they'll probably last pretty darn well on asphalt or whatever services you may be running this on. Um, but yeah, don't expect them to be, you know, like high level competition style compounds on these. But um, metal drive lines, got bearings all the way throughout. I'll pop the top on this. Right here, you can check out the motors. See how there's dual motors and all that stuff in there. So that was something I really wanted to see. I had to take off a bunch of stuff to get that. Little metal um, skids right here. Those will get scraped up pretty quick. But anyway, yeah, we got two brush motors. And it actually has a little cover that's supposed to go on that, but I kind of took that off. But anyways, we're gonna get this little guy powered up and see what it's got. Yeah, it's gonna be bouncy. Look at this. Oh, also, that came with spare parts. We've got, well, this is your charger, screwdriver. It's like a front steering knuckle in there. So we've got that, and then here's a wheelie bar. Guess we're gonna find out if it can do a wheelie. Okay, get the thing powered up. The battery goes in right here. This fits down in there. It does fit. You just kind of gonna push a little bit. Then this clip goes on right here, and then this goes on. And I'll show you this all buttoned up in just a second. And this is it, all buttoned up. You can see that strap actually runs underneath the chassis. So that could actually get hung up and catch some stuff. And this uh, battery cover won't stay on without this strap. So kind of a uh, odd piece right there. But let's go and power it up for the first time. See what it's got. Oh, shoot. Okay. I guess I better be careful on the table. <laughs> okay, so now it is ready to go outside. Steering. She feels, looks pretty good. So, all right. Let's get a little bouncing Betty outside. Well, let's see what it's got. Well, okay, it's bouncy. Which we kind of knew it would be bouncy. Can it jump? <laughs> well, yes, it can jump. I don't think it needs a wheelie bar though. It actually flies okay. Let's see what it's got for reverse. Oh. It almost has a weird uh, crawler reverse to it. <laughs> yeah, it kind of could use a little more juice, even with the two motors. I haven't checked on the ESC. Maybe it's good for 3S. If it is, that'll wake it up. Bet you'll need a wheelie bar then. Uh-oh. I'm gonna try this other jump over here. See if they can clear that. Maybe it can, we're about to find out. If it does, it'd be awesome. And after this, we're gonna go hit the big jump. The big dirt jump. Nope. They ain't quite got enough to get that. <laughs> Even with two motors, it feels a little bit on the weak side. That was a good little hit. Let's go hit this dirt pile over here and see what it's got. I add a little bit more of a run up to this. 
Let's see what we got. It made it. <laughs> All right. Seems to be a bit mild. I mean, woo. Oh, that was cool. I'd say this is probably perfect for a smaller kid, in all honesty. At least. I haven't broken anything yet. I'm landing under full throttle, but, you know, it just doesn't really have a whole lot of power. However, the gears aren't built like, you know, Arma or Traxxas or something like that, so... Oh, I'm so good. Oh, I wonder if they can do a, I like a loop-de-loop. -loop. Let's go find out. It really likes to stand on its tires. Well, let's see. Why, yes, it does. That was nice. Oh, but it can totally get a loop to loop. It seems to do fine for what it is. I mean, it's not a, you know, certainly not a techno, but only about 140 bucks. It could turn a little sharper, at least going backwards. I don't know why it came with a wheelie bar. Hasn't needed one yet. Let's go hit the jumps real quick. And then we're going to get this thing wrapped up. Let's see here. <laughs> I barely got it. All right. Fresh inside from running around on the grass, trying to clean the tires up, which apparently I still need to go hit the air hose. Let's see, it's got maybe 40 seconds of cool off time. So not too bad. Motor temps are hanging in there pretty good. If I can get that on there, right? 110, 115. Yep, everything's running good. The battery's coming in at 9% right there. Let's see. Cells are pretty well balanced, so that's a good thing. But I guess overall, driving the way I was driving it, as far as just flat out driving it, I guess about 10 to 12 minutes or so. I mean, that's a small battery too. It's just a little 1600 milliamp, but that's not bad. Well, there you go, guys. Now. Despite it having two motors, for me in my driving area, it was a little bit underpowered. I mean, granted, it's awful springy with no dampening or anything like that, but the powered thing, it's, uh, I'm going to say it's mildly powered. The reason for that, if you're trying to drive this in your living room, it's probably going to be overpowered a little bit too much. But out there in the open field, you'll be like, huh needs a little bit more so but anyway it held up it actually jumped okay you can tell there's zero dampening I mean you know like when you get a vehicle and there's dampening is very low you can still tell it's got something well you know this one has nothing right but anyway uh the vehicle took it um I don't know what to say other than you just gotta go give it a, another drive I need to check the uh, ESC, see if it's good for 3S. On 3S, might need that wheelie bar. But as it is right now, no wheelie bar needed. Now, these tires, they're a hard, they're hard compound, like a slick compound. In the dirt that I had back there, it doesn't matter. They hooked up just fine. But if you were to put this on asphalt or a tile floor, they'd probably spin pretty darn nice. But I don't exactly want to do that right now. Maybe I'll take it to the asphalt. Who knows? But anyway, guys, I'll link this down below. If you guys want to check it out, go ahead. Um, 
it seems to be okay. It just needs some real shocks. And 3S, a little more juice. You can do that with a different ESC, pretty easy. But anyway, that's another time. Guys, check that description. I'll link this thing up. Um, use your own judgment. You want it, grab it. If not, all is good. Check that description. Use those links. Hit that subscribe and ring that bell. Guys, thank you all for watching. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.